welcome to Psychic Medium, Tony G, Tony Green. I'm Tony Green. I am lit for this show. Oh, I don't even know why. I don't really even know why, but I slept a lot this weekend. Oh, you know, I'm just a girl that likes sleep. I accept that about myself. It's all good. It's good. Okay, so I am so ready for this. No, wait, I need to explain something about the sleep thing. This has been since I've been a child. Like, looking back, I would sleep through all my morning classes. <laughs> I don't know how I got out of high school. <laughs> I don't know how I got out of kindergarten. Rumor has it, I failed kindergarten. I think that's just a rumor that they use to kind of scare me into being smarter. It did not work. I'm just saying. For all my channeling abilities, you'd think they would have given me some answers. <gasps> Maybe that's how I got out of high school. <sighs> okay, anyway, enough about that. Just trying to be funny with a few truth bombs. I want to say hi to everybody on YouTube Live, everybody waiting on the call log. I am going to try to get to everybody today. But before I do, something very near and dear to my heart and something that it means so much to me and my nieces. And if you know anything about me, my, my youngest brother and my nieces, they are like everything, everything to me. And um, one of my nieces or two of my nieces, um, um, Jordan and Gianna started this, uh, it's called Superhero Stomp in Pewaukee, Wisconsin. And they um, started this for four, at the time there were four or five families in the Pewaukee area that had children that had cancer. And they started this 5K at the Pewaukee High School or the school, all the schools are right there, but at the Pewaukee School. So, and it grew into this really amazing thing. These superheroes would come out in costume. They still do. The fire department would come out. Like all these people would come and it was uh, children would, um, children and adults could um, dress up as their favorite superhero. There's a run for the little ones, um, different age groups. Um, there's uh, different runs for them. But it's a it's just an amazing um, an amazing day and an amazing event. And I have to go into my phone to find <laughs> to find it. So please, people, be patient with me. I'm going to pull it up in a second. Dun, 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 dun. So here's, I know you're not going to be able to see this very well, but I'm going to try to close up on it so you can do a freeze frame and like get the information for this. There we go. Take a snapshot. And the information is on there for if you want to do the run, if you want to do whatever it is you want to do. Um, but if you would like to donate to this, there's gift certificates, services. If you would like to donate anything to this um, or join the 5K, please, there's a website on there and or you can reach out to my website, T-O-N-I-G dot I-N-F-O or call me on my <clears throat> regular line 414-897-2869. I'll be happy to talk with you about how you can do this. Now, the, when my niece started this, she was in high school. And now my second niece has taken it over and she is in, um, she's 15. So this is quite uh, resourceful of them. And I'm really super proud of them for it. And I will be to all my friends, <laughs> I, and people I do business with expect a call. <laughs> Just as your warning. <laughs> if you answer, you're in. <laughs> That's it. This is your warning. Okay. Um, Terry, hey, thank you for joining me. Um, uh, and 
Frankie, Fawn, Mimi, Patrick, Sal, thank you guys so much for being here. I'm so grateful. Okay, I'm going to do a little channeling. Should we do channeling today? Or should, hi, Lolly. Or should we just move on to callers? What should we do? What should we do? Okay, a few predictions coming in. Now, people have been calling me and telling me... Um, They've been confirming that my predictions have been happening and that um, and some of them I'm really sad they're happening because some of them is what's going on in China right now. Some of them is what's um, going on in other parts of the world. And those are the ones I always hope I'm wrong on. And unfortunately, I'm not, but it is what it is. Hi, Jana. Um Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a, a few predictions, just a few, and then I'm going to um, move into taking calls from callers. So please hold on if you're on the call log. I'll be with you in a moment. I just want to, they're telling me, and when I say they, they're, it's always angels. It's always people, uh, angels, Um coming through, giving messages. Now, these messages aren't to scare you because remember, this is the most important thing you need to know is that we are here to create and co-create. And in the creation process, we can change the dynamic of any part of this world. As we create and co-create, we create on our own for our own life. We co-create with others for our lives and their lives. And as we do this, create and co-create, and as we create and co-create with the universe and the angels and what you might call spirit guides, we create a new or a different world, okay? So if enough of us are thinking in one direction, in one way, in a fearless way, towards the direction we want to go, it will change the, uh, the, the direction of where things are going. We might feel powerless and we may feel like we are outnumbered at times and that there is nothing that could be further from the truth. Don't think about what you don't want. Focus in on it as it has been. Um, you must, it's so funny, as soon as I start talking about this, it says that my connection on YouTube is unstable. Is it really? Let's keep going, folks. Um, as more and more of us stay in that space, of, they're using the word solidarity. Even if we don't know who else is on this path with us, who else is thinking the same way we are, we have to be very strong in our thoughts, very strong in our conviction, extremely strong in the direction that we want our world to go. And I cannot be more clear about this. Do not give in to fear. Do not falter to fear. Stay strong in every belief that you have. Stay strong in every belief of freedom. Stay strong in every conviction that you hold as far as where and how you would like to see this world go. Yes, there are a lot of energies at work that would like things to go in this direction. But make no mistake, there are more of us than there are them. And there will always be more of us than there are them. We were born to be free. We were born to create. We were born to live a life where we can easily, quickly, and in every direction manifest or create what we want in this world. And if we stick with that, if we stay with that, if we stay in that knowing, we will be there. We will be there. Okay, I'm going to start taking callers now. I'm going to go to the first caller. 908, what's your name? Where are you calling from? 
Hi, good afternoon, I'm Chani. This is Caroline from New Jersey. Hi, Caroline. How are you? I'm great. How was your Easter? It was Hopefully beautiful. It was beautiful. Oh, it was beautiful. Thank you. It was. Yeah, I didn't even bring up Easter yet. Um, it was gorgeous. How about yours? How was your Easter? I, I think we're cutting. My Easter was also very peaceful, actually. Beautiful, beautiful. How can I help you today, love? <laughs> well, I've been a little disappointed, I guess, a little brain fog. Um, it seems like I can't move forward with my special special project that I've been working on, you know, let's bring Dr. Tesla as a hint. And I feel like I'm in a paralysis and I can't move. And this has been going on a little too long, like two months. And I just don't know what's wrong. I don't know, you know, I ask, I pray, and it's, I, I don't know what it is, this paralysis. Okay. And I, I can't seem to move forward. I can't go halt. Okay. You know, it's... I, like, I feel it. The first word, the first thing I'm getting for you, um, there's a couple different things I get right away. And the first one, I don't know if this is one word or two words or how they mean it. Electromagnetic. Electro. Oh, yes. Magnetic or electromagnetic. Yes, yes. Now, they want you to focus in on that because it's a different aspect or a different way. They're also saying that you have been... Um, uh, I, I, I know this sounds so simple. Open a window, open a window, open a window. But here's what I'm going to say. Here's what I'm going to say. There are times when we need downtime. Um, yeah. Times when we need downtime. And when yes. we need downtime, we just need to uh, take a breath, take that time, and then start the project again. Um, I have a whole book in my phone, seriously, like a whole book in my phone. And it's been sitting there for a couple months, and I keep thinking, I, I, I need to get this. I need to get it at, in the computer. I need to put it to paper. But there's something about it, like the timing is everything, is the statement I'm hearing right now. So as you move forward, don't worry about when it gets out, because it will get out when it's supposed to. Worry about, yeah. I'm hearing the schematics of it. So right now is the time. You don't worry about moving forward. Worry about everything you have being where it's supposed to be. Okay, love? Okay. Very good. Excellent. <laughs> you can never, you can, Beautiful. you can never be behind. You can never fall behind. You can only, how, how are they saying this? You can never fall behind. You can only um, be uh, like on time. I know that that doesn't make sense and it sounds so simple, but basically what they're saying is everything happens as it's supposed to. We live in a very intentional universe, an extremely intentional universe. Okay, love? Yes. Wonderful. Thank you so much. You're um, welcome. You really, it's really healing, by the way. Oh. Very healing to the soul. Thank you. And you know what? I'm so happy I was able to hear from you today and that you were, you called in and um, because I, you know, people call in and then I might not hear from them for a while. And I do think about you guys. I think about like, how's their, how's this going? What's going on with them? How are they? Um, so I'm always grateful when I can connect and reconnect with people on this venue. It's always a beautiful thing. I'm going to go to 780, 780. What's your name? Where are you calling from? 
Hey, Tony, it's Jay calling from Canada. Thanks for <laughs> taking my call and hearing your voice, your lovely voice. I'm so happy voice. to hear from you. How are you? <laughs> I'm doing pretty good. It's, you're so right at what's going on. I mean, in regards to your predictions and things like that. And my, my question, too, is is um, in regards to my mother on the other side or somebody is actually pushing me to do things so that I normally don't do. I just go, I go and do it now. And it's almost like they're, uh, I think it's my mother is, is trying to get my preps up and preparing me for what is to come. So I just wondered what is that possible? Is it well, that possible? Is it, is, is it, is it my mother or is it somebody else doing both. that? Um, both. Or even spirit, other you, spirits. You know, I'm going to tell you that I, I love, I love that you're saying this and I love that you called in and what a beautiful timing of this because I'm going to tell you that they are on the other side. Our loved ones will often help us and push us forward um, in ways that our angels cannot. So our angels will do uh how, how do i say like if angels don't intercede they don't interfere unless we ask them okay they they allow us unless there's an emergency unless unless we're going to you know like i i'm jokingly this is a joke folks don't test it unless we're like gonna fall off a cliff or like we're so a lot of times angels will will intercede or enter like come into our life and uh, um, act on our behalf like if there's a car accident or going to be a car accident they'll maneuver and manipulate to make sure we're safe and we come out of everything okay um, in my last near death when I was um, when I was falling I was falling off of a box and I was falling backwards and everything was in such slow motion like what took probably less than a second in my mind took what felt like three minutes, but I could see the way, like I should have gone straight back, but I could see the way the energy or we were being manipulated or moved to go sideways because if I had gone straight back, I literally would have been decapitated. There was a table behind me and it would have hit right at neck. And I, I there would have been no coming back from that. There would have been no coming back, but I was maneuvered sideways and the person that was falling on top of me was falling in the direction of the table and was a very very big person and the angels came in and like maneuvered us sideways i mean there was still a lot of damage wow. but that's that for the first way there was no coming back the second way they gave me the choice to come back or not um and here i am Still not going to admit, like, I'm not going to say I make some of the best choices, but I'm kidding. I'm joking. I'm joking. Um, but so angels will, but so that's a time when an angels or an angel or angels will come in and they'll work and they'll do it without your request. They'll just, they'll save your butt. Um, but in everyday life, angels typically they wait for your request, your your prayers or your manifestations, whatever you want yep. to call it, and they they step in. Now, here's the beautiful part: our ancestors, however, our loved ones, whether we know them or not, like our great 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 grandpappy or whatever we called them. I never called them a great grandpappy. Um, that just came out. Um, they will intercede all the time. They are telling us what to do, where to go, how to do it, sometimes on a daily. Um, they're trying to help keep us on our path and moving forward, keeping us strong, giving us that faith, and, and helping us to accomplish what we came here to accomplish. Where the angels will intercede also on a universal level. So if we need to prepare for something, if something's coming and we need to prepare for it, you'll start getting that little hit like, I should buy extra water. I should do this. And you don't know why you're getting that message. It seems w weird and random. But if you listen to it later on, you'll never regret it. Okay? You will never, ever regret, like, d doing it. Um, 
So whenever they give those messages, make sure you're paying attention and you're doing it. And if they're telling you to get up and get out and go and do 1 million percent, do that because you might meet someone, excuse me, you might talk with someone, you might see something that's going to confirm or help you move forward in the way you want to move forward. And I'm going to tell everybody right now, like, get out, get out of your house and start doing things, even if it's just walking in the park. Well, like we got snow here today. That's ridiculous. That's just a ridiculous thing. It's been snowing all morning. Are you freaking kidding me? Um, but no, they're not like, and this is okay, folks. <laughs> Before you come at me and tell me you don't know what you're talking about, that's science fiction. Look it up online. Just do geo weathering and weather as a weapon. They have taken control of our weather. I know it sounds crazy. It sounds like I'm a conspiracy theorist. No, it isn't. But right, it no, isn't. Not, they do either. right. They do. And those of us who know know. And those of us who don't think, wow, it's really weird that it's snowing at the end of April. <laughs> is it really is it weird or is it whatever okay enough about that so get out do what you need to do and allow yourself to be in public and make sure you are taking every step that you need as long you know you know it's coming from a good source you know it's um positive get out and do it and make sure that you are in that uh, in alignment with that. The more you do it, the more it will lead you down the road to where you're supposed to be, okay? And uh, yes, and your mom wants awesome. to say she loves you and just keep moving. Keep keep moving, keep going, keep moving, keep going, okay, love? Oh, it's a beautiful message. Thanks for, for myself and everyone out there too. Well, oh, it's beautiful. Absolutely, my pleasure. And thank you so much for calling in. Thank you. Bye-bye. Yeah, Bye-bye. Okay, I'm going to go to the next caller in a second. I just want to thank Peter G. Um, he had me on his show last Wednesday, and it was so much fun. I actually did divulge a few things about myself that I normally wouldn't. <laughs> Peter, what are you doing to me? <laughs> um, I don't think I've ever been that color red. I was like as red as my top on his show. Like he is funny. He's a funny bunny. Um, and he like said, he just, he just, yeah, it was a really good show. It was a lot of fun. I hope I get to play with them again on their show. He, him and Pepsi are like such a riot and so much fun. Uh, thank you, Fawn. Fawn said she watched it and it was fun. It was, it was, it was a lot of fun to do. Um, GC, thank you so much. Hi. And um, I thought somebody else came in also that I didn't get to say hi to. Okay. We are going to go next to 415. I think it's 415. 415. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Hi, Tony. This is Kate. Kate, you're a little muffled. Can you fix your phone, love? Um, is this better? Eh, not really. How about now? That's better. Thank you so much. How can I help you, Kate? Um, I have been waking up or been woken up at four every morning. So, what is, is there a message for me? And and what, or what should I be doing if I, at four in the morning? And or it's, it's getting okay. a little tiring, actually. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? It's so exhausting. Mine is at two and then again at three. If I manage to fall back asleep, they wake me up again at three. So here's what they're saying. When you wake up at four, they want you to just, um, because you don't, you're not supposed to be completely up. And I know, Kate, you're going to get this, even if nobody else does, and that's okay. You're supposed to start manifesting at that point. Just only think of the things you want. 
and then allow yourself to drift okay. away. And don't don't open your eyes if you don't have to, you know, just start thinking about mm -hmm. the things you want and and then allow yourself to drift back in. Okay, for everybody listening. Oh my goodness, this is my favorite 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 thing to share with people. Thank you, Kate. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So, that state of like hypnosis or semi-hypnosis, hypnosis, the state of hypnosis is between being awake and being asleep. So when you're in a state of hypnosis, you're not like you could get up, you could go to the bathroom, you could do things, or you could just drop off and fall asleep. It's that right in between state. That is the perfect, the absolute perfect manifestation and meditation state. So when you're in that state of mind, like where you're not asleep, but you're not awake, only have the most positive thoughts, because that's where we program our mind. Mm. But if you can take it one step further, one step, cha-cha, two steps, cha-cha. Why is that song? Okay, first of all, why is that song randomly popping in my mind? And second of all, why did I feel the need to sing it out loud? I don't know. Um <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love I just want to dance about this. I think they, they need to dance more. <laughs> yes, and sing more, right? I don't care what you dance or sing to, yes. do it. Um, when you're yes. in that state of like half awake, half asleep, whatever you want to call it, just start thinking of how you want your life to look. Even just start with what you want for tomorrow. So when you're falling asleep at night or if you wake up in the middle of the night, Think about like, oh, tomorrow I'm going to get up. I'm going to have the best workout. I'm going to do my show. I'm going to blah, 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 blah. Make your list and then add to it. Like um, if, if there's something you've been working on or something you really, really, really want, um, start working towards it because there is or start manifesting it at that point and then your your energy will start moving you towards it. So when you're waking up at that time, Kate, First, there is start manifesting, start thinking about what you want in your life and think about it only in a very positive, beautiful way. But second, um, there's someone that is a younger male, lighter hair, mm. light, yeah. lighter hair, that yeah. wa wants to tell you... Um, and they're singing it. And yes, folks. Okay. So like for those of you who are new, I know I can't sing and it's okay. Nobody know, nobody cares that I can't sing. When spirit breaks me into verse, I'm breaking into verse. Um, and yes, it is embarrassing for me. For those of you who have asked, aren't you embarrassed by your singing voice? Yes, I am. But out of all, I've been blessed with all of these talents. If I have to embarrass myself a little bit by breaking into verse, that's fine. I'll do it. So the, he's saying, um, he did the song, I just came to say, and I know that's not the right word. Don't correct me. They sing it the way they want to sing it. So pull yourself back right now. I'm, I'm sorry. I just called. I just came to say from the bottom of my heart. I just came to say I'm sorry. Oh, um, and you. and oh. <laughs> yeah, it's I, I think it's I just called to say I love you. But he's saying I just came I to say they, I'm sorry. But he's it. using the beat of that song. And from the bottom of his heart. And he wants you to know that um, <clears throat> that it was it was a miss step like he misstepped he misstepped he misstepped like like almost like as though if they're saying I made a mistake or I didn't think that all I didn't think I doubt he's saying <laughs> he's saying I definitely didn't think that one all the way through now did I so whatever that means um I will be back on Wednesday at noon for a minimum of 30 minutes to answer your questions and help you connect with loved ones on the other side. I love each and every one of you a great deal. Until Wednesday, enjoy your week.